What do I even do for my YouTube intro? Hi, my name is The Runaway Gang, and today I'm going to do Limitless in three runs to see if I like it and if I want to go for it. This video will be stream highlights and a little review at the end. I hope you guys enjoy. That was like a fine intro. I mean, it doesn't really have like YouTuber energy person personality, which is a good thing, I guess. I'm gonna do some runs to 33. I'm gonna break it up into three parts. And I've been playing this level, like, I've been practicing it a little bit. So I know, like, a little bit on how to do it. Obviously not, if you guys can see. Like, little little known fact, this is, like, this was, like, 119 at the list at the time for some reason. So that's a little interesting fact for you guys. See, like, this level really isn't that hard. It's just kind of learning. And by kind of learning, I mean, like, really learning. But this first, like, run to 33 shouldn't be that hard. It's like the end, the middle and the end that are going to be the tricky, the tricky Ricky parts. Yeah, I have the 2.2 light update. That is crazy. There are 400 icons. I didn't realize how many he leaked. I wish he would just release like something. Like it doesn't have to be big. I just want some more icons or something just to keep this game alive, dude. <laughs> how old do you think I am based on the... That's like the problems you get on a, on a math test. Based on the Earth's circumference, how old is Richard Jab One Games? Buddy, where are you going? Where are you going? 11, oh my gosh, I'm so good at the game. Yeah. No, I almost had it. Okay, yeah, that's not, like, that's not hard at all. Nice, 35, awesome. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Special thanks, thank you to Mercury. I appreciate you watching throughout the entire stream. I actually had a really good stream. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like, not a lot of pressure on me to do well, which was very, very relieving. So, I appreciate your support. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye. I bet you didn't expect the stream highlights to be over so soon. Well, neither did I. I hate this level. Before I go over the things that made me want to rip my hair out, let me go over some strong points that I think this level holds. In terms of decoration, this doesn't look half bad. It is quite bright in some areas, but when it doesn't put 7 layers of makeup on each orb, it looks pretty good. Crazily enough, the decoration is not the best thing about this level. The song that this level uses is created by Gukasan, so you know this song alone bumps up this level by a good margin. I find this information to be quite comical, given that the song and the decoration are both the least important aspects on how a level plays. In terms of how this level plays... It plays? Let's start with the balancing. I was able to get 35 in one day. I could not, for the life of me, get 33 to 66 in two days. And I am pretty sure 66 to 100 is about as hard as 33 to 66. So not only are those parts hard, but they are preceded by something that is significantly easier, about insane demon difficulty. That is not something I have any interest in beating, I can guarantee you that. But what exactly made it so difficult? It wasn't exactly just a pure difficulty spike, although that was a major contributor, but the amount of stupidness increases tenfold when you get to this section. Like, this UFO section? What, what even is this? All of these gravity portals and orbs and high CPS set you up for failure. I wish I could put into words how much anti-fun I had playing this section. This cube section is fine when it works. It is so easy to mess up because the timings are insanely specific. The green orb to pink orb still gives me nightmares, and I haven't played the level in like two weeks. This part may be bad, but crazily enough, the whole level isn't like this. The first third is actually incredibly fun, with some high CPS robot and cube gameplay that is very satisfying to pull off. It is just so incredibly difficult to believe that the person that made this part also made this part, which is pretty degrading to my mental health. Let's talk about the playtesting that this level went through. Boy oh boy. Not only is the base gameplay pretty terrible, but the playtesting exemplifies the flaws in this level. It goes from a bad level to one that makes you want to break your hand on the table in anger. If the playtesting had been better, then this level could have been playable, but these bugs and inconsistencies? Certainly something different. Okay, so here's the final verdict. Get 34 at most. It really isn't worth it to play anything else, as it only works half the time. It's the equivalent of getting void clicks every other click. It, it just isn't worth it.
And if you guys really, really despise the level, just do 33 to 66 on Limitless, and you will just suddenly find that you really enjoy the level you hated. Isn't that weird how that works? From the bottom of my heart, I just hope you guys appreciate me being a martyr for you guys on this one. Uh, it was really my honor. Okay, so it's time for that part in the video where I plug all of my socials. I stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. EST. I release a video every week, so you should subscribe for that. Oh yeah, I also have a Discord server in which I give away free Nitro every two weeks. You should probably go to that and sign up because that's pretty cool. <laughs> the person who made that might be must be quite quite uh, generous, quite giving, if you will. At Adam Pate. At Adam Pate. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I pray that you guys don't ever hate a level as much as I hated this one. Goodbye.